Hi, my name is Dennis Threadgill. Here I have with me Valerie Livingston, principal of Mary A. White School. Hi, Dennis. All right, thanks for being here today. You bet. So we're going to talk a little bit about reading and Loud at Library and the connections that uh, kids have and some of the different programs that are uh, happening. Okay. Um, so tell me a little bit about Kids Read Now and that program, and what is it? Well, Kids Read Now is a summer program intended for uh, grades K through 3, and it's a program that we are fortunate to have in Grand Haven for the summer, um, completely funded by the school's foundation. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's $15 a child, and each child will receive nine books over the course of the summer once they're signed up. Okay, and then do they choose those books, or there's as um, there looks like there's a catalog here that they can choose books from. Yes, the program sent us uh, catalogs. It sent us 150 books. So this is just a small sampling mm -hmm. from some second grade texts, and the children were allowed to choose because we know when children choose the books that they're going to read, they have a higher interest in it, and they're more likely to read it. Okay, and then can they get these from their schools, or do they have to go to Loudit to get that? No, every school received the 150 books, all mm -hmm. of the sign-up sheets, and every teacher in the district, K-3, uh, worked with their students to choose their nine books, Okay. Every school then gets to keep that 150 books. Wow. Yeah, so I have, I have some fun plans for that throughout the summer. And on May 21st, district-wide, every elementary school is going to host a reading night, and we're inviting all the parents to come in. Mm -hmm. The children will receive their first three books in a baggie that looks sort of like this. Okay. And they'll have their books in there. I have some other goodies. I think there's a wristband, a pen, and some other little trinkets that the children will get. And we're going to teach the parents then how to uh, report a book. So they'll receive the first three books that night, um, and then throughout the summer, they'll receive the rest of them. And all they have to do is make sure their child reads the book, and then on the inside of every book, there's a little discovery sheet with some prompts, a couple questions. Mm -hmm. And basically, we want parents to sit, take the time and have a conversation with their child about the book so that they can help their child understand what they read of course, and then there's a way that they'll be able to report that through an app that they can do on their phone or on any computer, and once they do that, the next book will come in the mail. So for every book they read, they have to go through the discovery sheet, report the book that they've read, uh, another one will come in the mail, they do the same thing, and by the end of the summer they will have read nine books, hopefully they will have received them all, and then there will be uh, probably at every school some type of celebration sure. and lots of prizes similar to this little guy. Yeah. So why is it so important that our kids are continuing to read throughout the summer? Well, when school stops in June, we hope it's in June this year. <laughs> Who knows with all these <laughs> Who snows? knows? Yeah, we're hoping. Uh, when school stops, learning shouldn't stop. And for children that, that don't do anything during the summer in terms of academics, they, they go this way. Kids that continue to read, they go this way. And so by the time school starts again in the fall, the kids that haven't done anything are starting the school year out behind their peers. And that's a horrible way to get started. Yeah, right right off the bat, they're having to catch up from right. what they've forgotten. Yes, yeah, so we want to encourage the kids to read. You know, all of the elementary schools in Grand Haven try something different every summer, trying to, we open our libraries, we offer book swaps, we try all kinds of things to keep kids reading. But this is a way that will guarantee that every child has nine books. Mm -hmm. Tell me read. a little bit about, um, it's a great program, but what can you say to those parents that their kids, they're not readers, um, how, what can you say to them to try to persuade them to read and the importance of it? Or some tips that you can yeah. give them? Find a book that your child wants to devour and maybe it's too hard for them and read it to them. And, and that's a book that they can get excited about, they can grow into, and then set a schedule. You know, every morning, Monday through Friday, 9 to 9.30, you're reading before you go outside and play, before you turn on electronics, before you do anything else that is on your summer list of fun things, before you go to the swimming pool or the beach, get that book out, get your reading done. Good. Um, do you have some tips or some books that you recommend? I know my ch uh, children like the big head books, you know, so they're they're getting in entertained, but they're learning as well. Yeah, we have um, with with the Kids Read Now program, we have a mixture of fiction and nonfiction. We have lots of the National Geographic books. Kids love those; mm -hmm. it, they're high interest. 
Um, also, second graders especially want to grow into chapter books, so we've got a lot of Magic Treehouse books. We've got Junie B. Jones that everybody loves. There's a mixture of some uh, graphic books. And of course, when children, nine books, I would think, you know, is a lot, but it's it's not near as many as they should read during the summer. We want kids also reading magazines. We want them devouring print. So that's why I'll also speak a little bit about the Laudit Library. Mm -hmm. So that leads us to our next segment is tell us about the Laudit Library and how um, they're helping with this program. Yeah, the, the Laudit District Library offered summer programs for families every summer. There's, there's always programs for adults to read in book clubs and the summer programs have lots of great prizes and incentives for children to get involved and, and feel that they're part of, you know, trying to, to meet a challenge and they can win some prizes. Um, and at the library, the kids can check out um, magazines, they can check out graphic novels, they can check out nonfiction, fiction, they can check out movies, they can check out tapes. You know, there's, there's so a lot of choice. There's a lot more choice. Yeah. Good. And how can they um, just go to the library's website? They can go to the library's website. They can go to the library. It's a great place to visit during the summertime. I do it myself, mm -hmm. you know, a few times a week, and I get as many books as I can fit in my bag. And when, when my kids were growing up, I'd say, you can get as many books as you are old. And so we'd right. come home with 6 to 10 to 12 books, mm -hmm. you know, and, and feast on those for a couple weeks. Good. And there's so much help there. So if, there, if you have questions or you're looking for, you know, a certain topic, there's always people there that can help them find the books that they need. That's right. And also, as I said in, in these books, the Kids Read Now books, um, the kids have to report the book in order to get their next book. So if, if there's a parent out there that doesn't have access to the Internet at home, they don't have a smartphone, they can go to the Laudit District Library and someone there will help them report their book. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, we're out of time, but thank you very much for being here today and telling, telling us about the program and, Absolutely. and everything that um, the library is doing for our kids as it, well as our elementary schools. It's super exciting. Summer's right around the corner. I know. It's getting warm. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. D. Baker & Son Lumber Company has been connecting with the Tri-Cities since 1871. Our traditions haven't changed in all these years. Quality products, honest pricing, and partnerships with local suppliers is why D. Baker & Son Lumber Company stands the test of time. Dreaming of buying a home? Your local Lakeshore lending team, Envoy Mortgage, is ready to assist you. Call Casey or William at 616-303-0728. Love your home? Love your loan.